Good evening and welcome to In The Zone. Marty, they say Friday the 13th is usually bad luck, but that was anything but the case tonight in the Wabash Valley with the big gains we had on the schedule this week. No doubt this is one of the weeks we circle coming into the season. We had the Victory Bell game as well as some WIC rivals West Vigo and Northview colliding. Small school powerhouses Linton and North Vermilion going at it and down south the Highway 57 helmet trophy on the line between North Davies and Washington. And you know what we're starting the show off with tonight. The Terre Haute North and Terre Haute South showdown. The Braves trying to win the victory bell back to back years for the first time since 2013 and 2014. The Patriots were not only trying to regain the bell, but you know they'd love to hand the 5A six ranked Braves their first loss of the season. Here's what makes the victory bell game so special. Look at the student sections wow. who wouldn't want to play in front of crowds like this. Patriots got the ball first and marched right down the field. Matt Gower finds Devin Stilwell, the North wide receiver, tough to bring down. That's good for 21 yards, North facing a fourth and three. Gower rolls out, finds Josh Humphrey. Humphrey told me earlier in the week he wanted to get his hands on the bell. It looked like it on this reception. He races 23 yards to the house. The underdog Patriots go up 7-0. All the momentum was with North early. South QB Caleb Stoltz would love to have this pass back. Jonathan Norris picks him off, but two plays later, finally something goes southway. Josh Cotty with a huge hit, jarring the ball loose. Andrus Miller with a fumble recovery for the Braves. South catches in on the turnover. All Jacob Rutledge does is make big plays. He does it again. 18-yard TD scamper that ties the game at seven. Second quarter, it's that Rutledge kid again. Just call him Mr. Touchdown. This kid lives in the end zone. Look at his speed as he blows by North for the 59-yard score. South on top, 14-7. to seven. Late first half, North ball. Nice screen, Gower to Jace Russell. Check out the slick move by number eight. Quick feet right here. Whoop. Fools the defender, gets some extra yards. Gower then. Rolls out and fires a perfect ball on the run to Devin Stillwell. Stillwell just stretches out over the goal line. Touchdown North. This game, 14 all at the half. Only a matter of time before big play. James Mallory comes through for South. A wide out hauls in the 22-yard pass from Caleb Stoltz to put South back out in front. 21-14 in the third. Ensuing North Drive, fourth and six at the South 36. Braves a big stop. Freshman Josh Cotty drops Gower. North turns the ball over on down. North again, fourth down in South Territory. Jace Russell makes a sick one-handed catch, but it's short of the first down. Late fourth, Allen Hare ices the game. The big South back rumbles to seal the win. 31-14 the final. For the second year in a row, the victory bell is staying on the south side. The last time they won the bell back-to-back -back years, 2013 and 2014. South is keeping the bell because of a dominating performance from their offensive line. We just knew that uh, we just had to dominate the ball to win this game. We knew it was a big game. And it starts up front with us, get our offense moving, get our defense fired up. It starts up front with us. They were phenomenal tonight. And we made a few adjustments going two back and just said, we're going to live with our big guys up front. In the second half, I thought they warmed down. And our backs did a great job. Mostly because of the offensive line, they did a great job. Helped I woke up feeling pretty dangerous this morning. It's a great feeling to know that I got it my senior year. It's a great feeling. And we did not want to lose that bell. So we just, we just came out and fought even harder. I, I loved the Baker, the yep. little comment there. Yeah, woke up feeling dangerous. Yeah, oh, yes. That. That's, that's awesome. Coming up after the break, we have that WIC matchup we were talking about between West Vigo and Northfield. And we had a busy night in Park and Vermilion County. We're heading up north when In the Zone returns.